Hello, Jess Too Good here. And the other day I went on eBay and I bought a fake Mr. Gold for $30. As somebody who has a real Mr. Gold, I want to compare the two and see the differences. First, it's time to check out the real Mr. Gold. It's been a while since I've actually shown this figure on camera. And yes, you all remember the classic Jess Too Good video from when I was like in, I think, I think 10th grade? Yeah, it must have been 10th grade. Okay. Uh, I'm shaking, guys. Can't believe it. Okay. <gasps> you can see it. Oh my gosh, here he is, Mr. Cold. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh. Oh my gosh, here's, I, I got the certificate out, only. 2013. Oh man, <laughs> just seeing this guy. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is 100% authentic. This is a real Mr. Gold. And no, I'm not gonna remove it from the actual special packaging inside the regular Series 10 packaging. We do have our certificate of authenticity, which, I had to cut because it showed the registration code on this. Um, but I, I can actually show the number and that will, oh my gosh, I, I want to be so careful with this. So there you go. This is number 3,545 out of 5,000. The only number 3,545 out of 5,000 of Mr. Gold that exists. And then under here they have a registration code, but I can't show that because you could like register that in some way. And I don't think I ever did. But yes, this is the authentic Mr. Gold from 2013, which I just paid $3 for at a Target. I went searching for months and it was just a random visit to Target after getting the battle at the Black Gate at the Lego store for Lego Lord of the Rings. Now let's open up the $30 version. All right, let's see. The $30 unofficial fake version of Mr. Gold that I just got from eBay. <laughs> right away, I like the packaging. <laughs> This looks like, uh, it might not even be, I thought it was like a custom made one, but this might just be some straight up bootleg. <laughs> Guys, I found Mr. Gold! Oh my gosh! I guess just, uh, bag to bag. Right away, you can see that this Mr. Gold is a lot, uh, shinier with its, uh, gold. This one has a little bit of a silverish feel, the authentic one. So that's an interesting note, but let's take this guy out of tag, because I don't care. Gotta make sure not to uh, mix this uh, little stand up with the actual official Mr. Gold stand, but it doesn't seem like I will. <laughs> Look at the freaking stand right here. Oh my, I could have probably got this from AliExpress for like two bucks. Why did I pay $30 on eBay? Oh, regardless, here, here's Mr. Gold. <laughs> the first time I'm holding a Mr. Gold in my hand, specifically out of package. Oh my gosh, this, look, look, inside. I'm going to do something I might regret, but uh, I am actually going to take off this hat right here after putting it on. Okay, I just don't want to damage any of the paint on the top, but this is the official Mr. Gold, the inside of the hat. And you can see right away, the inside of the official Mr. Gold is actually that same consistent uh, shine that's on the outside. This one is an uncolored uh, yellowish design for the bootleg version. And again, just so easy to see the differences in the hat right there in terms of the gold that they use. So unfortunately, you're not gonna get comparisons inside these pieces because I put this Mr. Gold together, uh, the official one, and I'm afraid to take it apart just to like damage the actual uh, paint. But hat to hat, again, just a different type of gold that they're plating this one with. Um, the Lego one is a lot more silverish. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's even like little black uh, specks from this. That's kind of gross. <laughs> uh, let's see another comparison right away. Like for the inside of these pieces, look at the official Mr. Golds, where mine actually has part of this just kind of uh, brownish, it looks like inside. And then part of it did actually get uh, painted with that gold right there. And this is the official Mr. Gold. For this one, 
it's even more consistent, oddly enough, where it seems like uh, the inside was uh, coated exactly the same way. The official version is a little bit inconsistent with uh, the color on one leg and the other leg. That is interesting. And of course, this one doesn't even have his hands attached or his arms attached, so we gotta put that. <sighs> Bootleg Mr. Gold's hat doesn't even fit on his freaking head. Like, come on. <laughs> okay, there you go. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, here's our side-by-side -side comparison. Unofficial Mr. Gold, official Mr. Gold. Okay, so the printing on both of them is actually kind of consistent in the quality. Like, it's not like this version has worse printing, uh, surprising enough, because a lot of bootlegs have worse printing. Uh, they actually do a good job on this version with the printing. It's more of just uh, the sculpting, again, like the hat not fitting on. Um, the plate is kind of uh, poorly sculpted, but for bootleg, this is a pretty good knockoff bootleg, I have to admit. But again, not perfect. Uh, look at the legs, for example. You can see how dinged up those are. The Lego version doesn't have any dinging or anything like that, and this is freshly packaged still. Let's see the backs. This one is a lot more speckly on the back, just poor painting. And funny enough, official Mr. Gold does not have back printing. I was actually not aware of that. So this one has added back printing. Huh. Or watch mine be the rare Mr. Gold with no printing whatsoever. Uh, for the actual staff right here at the top, you can see how there's an uh, unpainted rim right there. This one's all painted. Uh, but the pole for the Lego version, you can see, has an unprinted top rim right there. So a little bit of an inverse going on. Let me double check that this one doesn't have... Yeah. Oh, no, this one does have an un... Look at this. Actually, this pole connection right here is pretty similar in design with the unpainted top rim part. Though this one, the bootleg, is poorly sculpted. You can see it's already missing some of the pieces right there. Or not pieces, but it's just kind of chipping off. So I think this is it for our side-by-side -side comparison. Just so crazy to see these two side-by-side. Um, and yeah, this is my official Mr. Gold, which I'm very happy to own. I don't plan on ever really selling it. Um, for something as collectible and something that means so much to me, I'm going to keep it for a very long time. Regardless, let me know which you like better of these two, the bootleg Mr. Gold or the official Mr. Gold, the $30 Mr. Gold or the $6,000 Mr. Gold. I see it anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000. So let's say 6,000 and let me know if any of you have rare Lego minifigures. Subscribe for more Lego content and I'll see you later. Peace out, bye.